Good evening, everyone. I am delighted to welcome all of you coming from uh, so many different places to be here with us at Epiphany Catholic Church. I am Father Jose Alvarez, the pastor here at Epiphany, uh, Church of the Epiphany, and we're very pleased to have with us this evening in celebrating Father Alfred Shafi from St. Thomas University. And of course, my predecessor here of 38 years, the man who edified this beautiful uh, church, this magnificent church, and the man who, who actually launched and supported this concert series, this acclaimed concert series, Monsignor Judo Doherty. So we thank them for being with us. We thank all of you for being here, certainly our musicians, our choirs, and that we begin joyfully this celebration of the Mass of the Americas in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, communion with the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear friends, as we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, these sacred mysteries at God's table that speak to us of the glory of God, of the glory that is within us, the glory that we bear by bearing the being created in God's image and likeness, that glory that is reflected in this magnificent music that we will hear throughout this liturgy. As we do so, we thank the Lord for the richness that he bestows upon us. And we begin by calling to mind our sins all those times, not because, not because of any evil uh, on our part, but simply because we get overwhelmed by life, because we fail to see the glory that is within us, the glory that is around us, and we sin. We compromise the glory that is ours. Let us ask the Lord to forgive our sins and to unveil his glory within us and around us. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, her Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting.
us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. The first reading from the book of Zechariah. Many people shall come to seek the Lord in Jerusalem. Thus says the Lord of hosts, there shall yet come peoples, the inhabitants of many cities, and the inhabitants of one city shall approach those of another and say, come, let us go to implore the favor of the Lord, and I too will go to seek the Lord. Many peoples and strong nations shall come to seek the Lord of hosts in Jerusalem and to implore the favor of the Lord. Thus says the Lord of hosts, in those days, 10 men of every nationality speaking different tongues, shall take hold, yes, take hold of every Jew by the edge of his garment and say, let us go with you, for we have heard that God is with you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. things are said of you, O city of God. God is with us. I tell of Egypt and Babylon among those that know the Lord, of Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia. This man was born there, and of Zion they shall say, one and all were born in her, and he who has established her is the Most High Lord. God is with us. They shall note when the people are enrolled, this man was born there, and all shall sing in their festive dance. My home is within you. God is with us.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When the days for Jesus to be taken up were fulfilled, he resolutely determined to journey to Jerusalem, and he sent messengers ahead of him. On the way, they entered a Samaritan village to prepare for his reception there, but they would not welcome him because the destination of his journey was Jerusalem. When the disciples James and John saw this, they asked, Lord, do you want us to call down fire from heaven to consume them? Jesus turned and rebuked them, and they journeyed to another village. The Gospel of the Lord. As was mentioned in the introduction to the Mass, we are so blessed to be here this evening, this evening that is such a, a manifestation, right, of, of God's glory, that glory that's around us, that glory that is within us, which every now and then we lose sight of. And we're here on a historic evening. And I, I say historic because as I understand it, this is the first time that the music for the Mass of the Americas is incorporated into a liturgy here in Florida. This magnificent music that we're already right beginning to savor, which is, is so rich, is so broad, right? It, it encompasses so many varied tremendously varied overtones. And, and even as it was explained, I'm going back, right, to those first Spanish missionaries. And this magnificent music, which reveals this glory, this, this fullness of God, is very emblematic of really what it is that we are doing here this evening. You know, we, we, we gather coming from so many broad and different dimensions. You know, we gather as, as people who were born in various lands. There's, there's a lot of diversity here. We gather, right? Many of us are Catholics. We have some non-Catholics with us here this evening. That is, it's a wonderful occasion to gather people of different faiths. We gather with all of these gifts that we, we bear, all these God-given gifts that have been bestowed upon us. And as we, as we unite, right, as we sing God's praises, as we thank the Lord for this, this incredibly varied and rich life that he has bestowed upon us, you know, we, we, we gather in the essence of what at least as, as Catholics, what we, we profoundly believe in, the word Catholic literally means universal, unified diversity, a church for all peoples, a church which, cel which celebrates, right? A kingdom, the kingdom that Jesus came to usher in, a kingdom for all peoples, and it's, it's our God who whose very life enables this to happen. You know, we are, we are very, very blessed this way. And, you know, it's, it's all of this, and it's the living, it's the, the born, the unborn, right? And we, we, we hear that even in the 
readings this evening, which by the way, were not specially chosen for this mass. These happen to be the readings of the day, the readings of the Tuesday of the 26th week in ordinary time. And they, they, they promote, they, they celebrate this diversity. You hear that in the first reading, how, you know, God's God intends to bring peoples together, varied peoples together. And in the gospel, right, we see how some of the apostles, they, they were kind of slow learners, like some of us, right? right? We see how the apostles get rebuked because they're trying to be exclusive, right? They don't, they don't, uh, they don't want Jesus to really uh, take too much, too much favor with the Samaritans who shared different beliefs and they want them to get smoked. But Jesus uh, teaches them otherwise. Jesus, little by little, is teaching them to learn to recognize his presence, his glory in all peoples, in spite, with their gifts, and in spite of their limitations. Everyone, everyone is a little bit of a slow learner, right, when it comes to recognizing this great glory of God around us and within us because it is unbelievably vast. And you know, we, we wanted to uh, celebrate this Mass at this time for many, many reasons. You know, not just as something that would usher in, right, our concert series that will go through the rest of this year and into the spring, right? Uh, but also to celebrate the beginning of Hispanic Heritage Month, which celebrates this diversity, to usher in and celebrate the beginning of Respect Life Month. That reminds us that all life, all life, all human life is profoundly precious and glorious and worth celebrating. Now, you know, nobody, nobody can unite right? A family, nobody can unite a family the way that a mother can, right? We often, often hear, and sometimes I tell people, keep mama happy. When mama's not happy, oh, everything, everything goes wrong. Now, we have, we have a mother that is trying to keep us all happy. And so we, we honor Our Lady this evening. We ask for her prayers for all of us, all of us, all of us here, all of us throughout the world, the, 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 the born, the unborn, all of us. You know, this is what Our Lady loves all life. And Our Lady right, works and journeys with us to help us recognize that glory of God that she was able to recognize little by little within herself in the mission, this tremendous privileged mission that was entrusted to her. So we thank the Lord tonight. There's a lot, a lot to be thankful for and certainly a lot to savor. May we continue to enjoy this liturgy, its music, and as we do so, may the Lord continue Right? to build up within us, in our lives, in the nations that we come from, in the church, in our world, the very, very good and glorious work that he has already begun in our midst. And my dear friends, let us now stand so that we may offer up our prayers to Almighty God for ourselves and many others. That each of these petitions we will respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For the universal church and its members, that we may all the more embrace, all the more cherish, all the more celebrate our universal identity 
as sons and daughters of God, we pray to the Lord. We pray for people of all nations, very especially for all those in the Americas, that the Lord may help every nation and all its people recognize the seeds of the kingdom that they possess and build them up. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who are going through tremendous struggles at this time. We pray for all those who are sick. We pray for all immigrants. We pray for all those who are mourning the loss of a loved one. We pray for the safety of the unborn. We pray for all those that are fighting and trying to overcome inner challenges that the Lord may bestow upon all of them, the strength, the courage, the light that they need to journey on in life, we pray to the Lord. For all the faithful departed, very especially for our own loved ones that have preceded us to eternal life, that the Lord may reveal to them the fullness of his glory and they may bask in it, we pray to the Lord. For all of us gathered here this evening, that the Lord may help us to all the more recognize the glory that we possess as his true sons and daughters, and that we may share, celebrate that glory with others, we pray to the Lord. Amen. Heavenly Father, listen to these prayers that we present to you this evening, and all the other prayers that we constantly bring to your attention from the silence of our hearts and following Mary's example, lead us to share in your glory. We ask this through Christ our Lord.
pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. Receive, O Lord, we ask, the prayers of your people with these sacrificial offerings, that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, Mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered and no request may be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. It is our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on, as we remember, the blessed ever Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, the minions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time that he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion, he himself took bread. Giving you thanks, he broke the bread and he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving you thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the death and resurrection, we offer you of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Thomas, our Bishop, Enrique, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
at the Savior's command, informed by his divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Behold, Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Please be briefly seated. Again, I want to, I want to thank Monsignor and Father Shafi for joining us here this evening. Give him a shout out. It's always, always great to have him. I want to give special thanks to the seminarians who have served this past seminarians from St. Vincent de Paul Regional Seminary and John Vianney College Seminary for their support and service this evening lectors, Eucharistic ministers, the ushers, and all those other working behind the scenes to make this evening possible. Of course, you know, we want to give a very, very, very special thanks to our conductor, our musicians, and this magnificent choir. Let's hear it for them. Of course, there's very visible talent here tonight, enormous talent. But one thing I can tell you is that there's a lot of there's great inspiration here, but there's been a lot of perspiration. There's been a lot of hard work. This doesn't just happen. They have been working very, very hard to prepare for this for weeks. So we really very genuinely thank you for your you're very worthwhile, right, efforts. And I would be remiss clearly if I didn't thank our director of music, Tom Schuster, right? Tom, I don't know, there you, there you are. He's hiding behind the box back there. He puts all of this together. And one, uh, just one final note of thanks. We thank the Benedict XVI Institute for you know sponsoring us this evening and they are providing immediately after the mass they are providing a few goodies outside the church so stick around enjoy the evening and thank you once again for being here and partaking in this great celebration of God's glory let us stand for the final blessing the Lord be with you may almighty God bless you Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace.